NASA has recently made an astonishing announcement, its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, has begun sending usable data to Earth again after months of transmitting bizarre and seemingly random signals. Launched 45 years ago, Voyager 1 was originally designed to operate for just five years. Yet, against all odds, it continues to send us invaluable data from the farthest reaches of space. But here's the catch, the strange signals it's been transmitting lately have left NASA's top scientists scratching their heads in confusion, and some have even begun to entertain the possibility of something far more extraordinary at play, could Voyager 1 somehow be under alien control? What's really happening with this ancient spacecraft? In today's video, we'll dive deep into the mystery surrounding the strange data Voyager 1 has been sending back, and explore the mind-boggling possibilities. Let's rewind the clock to August 1977, when NASA launched Voyager 2, the spacecraft that would venture into the uncharted territory of Jupiter and Saturn, eventually continuing on to the distant ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. This marked the beginning of the groundbreaking Voyager program. But Voyager 1 wasn't far behind, launched just days later, its twin spacecraft followed the same ambitious mission plan. The timing of these launches was crucial, as the outer planets were aligned in such a way that they offered a rare opportunity to explore them efficiently with minimal adjustments to the spacecraft's trajectory. NASA took advantage of this rare alignment, but a slight 16-day delay between the launches led to a fascinating outcome, Voyager 1, despite launching later, overtook its sibling and reached Jupiter in December of 1977. From the very beginning Voyager 1 has been an invaluable tool for NASA, unlocking secrets about our solar system and beyond. In 1978, when the spacecraft was about 265 million kilometers from Earth, it began transmitting its first images of Jupiter. Just one year later, Voyager 1 spent nearly 100 hours capturing over 4,000 detailed photographs of the gas giant, allowing scientists to create the first ever time lapse of Jupiter's massive rotation. And if that wasn't enough, it also made history as the first spacecraft to detect the faint rings around Jupiter, and it discovered two new moons orbiting the planet. But Voyager 1 didn't stop there. Its next destination was Saturn, where a slight course correction was needed to prevent a collision with Titan, Saturn's largest moon. As it made its way past Saturn, Voyager 1 captured some of the most breathtaking images of the planet's iconic rings and made another major discovery, uncovering four of Saturn's moons. At this point, NASA made a bold decision, they would end Voyager 1's primary mission and direct it toward the outer edges of the solar system. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 continued its journey toward the distant ice giants, Uranus and Neptune, while Voyager 1 would forge a path into the unknown, beyond the influence of the Sun's gravitational pull. In 1990, NASA declared the start of the Voyager interstellar mission, marking the spacecraft's journey into the vast expanse of interstellar space. One of the most iconic moments in the mission came when Voyager 1 captured a historic portrait of our solar system, a photograph that showed Earth as a tiny, pale blue dot from nearly 6 billion kilometers away. By 1998, Voyager 1 had taken more than 67,000 images of our solar system's planets. With so much data gathered, NASA made the decision to conserve power by shutting off the spacecraft's cameras. At that point, Voyager 1 had already surpassed Pioneer 10, a spacecraft launched by NASA in 1972, becoming the farthest human-made object from Earth. Despite turning off its cameras, NASA continued to maintain communication with Voyager 1 through its remaining instruments. Then, in 2012, Voyager 1 reached an extraordinary milestone, it officially left the solar system, and entered interstellar space. But the achievement remained a closely guarded secret until 2013, when NASA finally confirmed that the spacecraft had crossed the threshold. Today, 
Voyager 1 is moving away from the Sun at a speed of 61 km per hour, continuing its lonely journey through the vast emptiness of deep space. Along with its twin, Voyager 2, it has now ventured farther than any other spacecraft in history, pushing the boundaries of human exploration. But just when things seemed calm, a strange new development emerged. Voyager 1, despite its advanced age and distance from Earth, has begun sending back bizarre, unexplained signals. The spacecraft appears to have lost some of its coordination, sending data that even NASA's brightest minds have struggled to make sense of. At first, it seemed as though the spacecraft might have become disoriented, but it still has the ability to send alerts back to Earth in the event of a critical malfunction, and so far, no such alarm has been triggered. In fact, Voyager 1's antenna is still working, and the spacecraft is able to maintain regular communication with NASA. But the odd signals it's been sending have left the space agency with more questions than answers. Now, here's where things get even more interesting. Every NASA spacecraft, including Voyager 1, carries a golden record, a gold-plated disc featuring audio and visual messages designed to communicate with any extraterrestrial civilizations that might encounter it in the far future. This disc includes over 35 sounds from Earth, ranging from the laughter of a child to the roar of a lion, as well as images of daily life on our planet, music from various cultures, and even greetings from US presidents, all translated into 55 different languages. The golden record is NASA's attempt to leave behind a message to the cosmos, just in case an alien civilization discovers the spacecraft millions of years from now. But could the strange signals from Voyager 1 somehow be a message from aliens, or is something else going on? As of 2022, NASA scientists have dismissed the idea that extraterrestrials are controlling the spacecraft. They assure us that Voyager 1 is equipped with numerous safety protocols to prevent any catastrophic failures, and no such protocols have been triggered, yet. However, the fact that the spacecraft's antenna is still pointed toward Earth, even though its systems seem to be malfunctioning, adds an extra layer of mystery to the signals it's sending. After all, in similar circumstances in the past, Voyager 1 has never transmitted such enigmatic messages. So, what's really happening with Voyager 1? The truth is, we don't know for sure. But what we do know is that the spacecraft's age and increasing distance from Earth are starting to take a toll. Launched 45 years ago, Voyager 1 has traveled over 23.6 billion kilometers, about 157.5 astronomical units, from the Sun. As the spacecraft moves farther into deep space, maintaining consistent communication is becoming more challenging. NASA's communication with Voyager 1 has slowed significantly, with messages from Earth now taking an average of two days to reach the spacecraft. And while Voyager 1 can still receive commands from Earth, NASA's team is facing increasing challenges in sending instructions and maintaining effective control over the spacecraft. What's more, a rescue mission is simply not feasible. Voyager 1 is so far away that no spacecraft currently exists that could make the journey to reach it in time for repairs. If something goes wrong, it's likely that Voyager 1 will simply continue its journey into the void of space, unreachable and silent. But that doesn't mean the spacecraft's work is over. NASA remains optimistic that the technical issues affecting Voyager 1 can be resolved, and the data it continues to send back is still invaluable. The challenges facing Voyager 1 are immense, but so is the wealth of information it continues to provide. This spacecraft is at the cutting edge of our understanding of the farthest reaches of space, and the data it transmits offers insights that will be essential for the future of space exploration. However, the day will inevitably come when Voyager 1 can no longer communicate with Earth. Every day, the likelihood of a mission-ending event increases. But even if that day comes, Voyager 1's resilience is a testament to the ingenuity of the scientists who built it, 
and to the incredible durability of NASA's technology. So, as we wrap up today's video, we want to hear from you, how much longer do you think Voyager 1's data transmissions will continue? What's your theory about the strange signals it's sending back to Earth? Could they be coming from an alien source, or is this just the result of the spacecraft's aging systems? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to